Yo, what's up, guys? It's Gavin Opp and Grady Stetler here, and you're watching Hooked On. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today is I think we're going to do some bluegill. Catch, clean, and cook. You down for that? All right, we're craving that. So we're going to go grab some worms. Yeah! Get him, get him. There's two. It's two big boys. Little peepo. Hey. Little, little peepo going. No, don't you leave me. Aw, oh, that guy's too small. Yeah, we got him. Right I think, no, that's like a beetle thing. Okay, hold up. All right, flip another rock. This is good. This is very good. Oh, there's worms. There's worm tracks. No, no worms! All right, ready? And this one's stuck in here. Woo! Woo, doggy! Of worms, like, oh heck yeah! Look what, no, look what we're doing. Look what I'm oh no, we're not doing that, boy. We can. It's too big. We can. Oh. All right, let's try this. Little. Oh yeah, I saw one. I saw one in there. Where'd he go? No! How dare he leave us? No, he got away! The struggle is real, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, sorry if the, the time lapse was horrible. The, the freaking mount, it doesn't stay tight. Like, I've tightened it up entirely, but whenever I hit those bumps, it goes, yee! All right, so we're at the pond now. Let's, oh, hold up. We got our little camp set up right there. And here's the pond that we're gonna be catching some bluegill at. Hopefully we can catch a big one for both of us. If not, we'll just catch two little ones for us. All right, stay tuned. All right, you guys, see, here's what we're working with today. Um. So we got a micro hook and we got some worms that we caught. Yeah, you probably saw that. So there's a big chungus in there. Oh my gosh, he's massive. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna, gonna put a bobber on and we're just gonna wait and see if we can catch any. Oh my goodness. Gosh dang, it's hot out here. Like the, I'm pretty sure the humidity was like 90%. Like it's absolutely crazy. Like, I'm not surprised because it's Georgia, but still. Oh my goodness. All right. Get you on the hook, boy. Get you on the hook, boy. So these, these are, they're okay worms. They're not the biggest ones, but they will do. Stand still, bud. Sick of it. All right. So what you want to do, because the bluegill, they have like like suckers, you normally want to hook them twice so they don't just rip it off without getting the hook in their mouth. Ugh. Oh, I know the bluegill want to put this in their mouth. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like tons of bluegill right here. So we're just gonna plop it out there. Unbelievably hot. Holy cow. I've been out here for like two minutes and I'm already sweating like bull crap. Oh my gosh. Oh, there they are. There they are. There's a clear spot right here. There's a clear spot. All right, ready? I'm just gonna toss it out there. Let them feed on it. But uh, now nah, we're gonna release this guy. We're looking for a lot bigger than this. <gasps> Dang it, we forgot my camera. You know it doesn't hurt your phone just to put the camera on? We got one, boys. We got one for the team. No, he's not a big boy. He's a little deep. He's a little deep. I'm not after you. Holy cow. He really do be swallowing that. Holy cow. I asked about my casting net. How are we going to get you? Look at this. Swallowed it. All right, bud. Go home. Oh, and he gone. Why are you not He's 
got it. Why do you not cast the He has it. Hi. Dude, the same fish that I got that you just had, I have him. You really? Yeah. Oh nice. Oh. Is that your guy? No, that's a bit bigger. Should we eat this guy? Uh let me let me check the size. Well he does. It's a bigger one. Oh wow. I want him to go home Maybe. No, we'll, we'll release that one for right now. Yeah. All right? Okay. Holy crap, dude, you swallowed that thing. Oh, yeah, they're, they're real hungry. Oh, there's a bass looking at it. Yeah, I know. That might be the same bass. Holy crap, why are there bass looking at it? Bass don't like worms. I can't. They do, but just whatever. I think they'll get them. No, there's just fish that are too small to put that thing in its mouth. Come on, just put that wiggly thing in your mouth. Okay, that sounded a bit weird. But, anyways, it's getting super hot out here. What time is it? It's like, it's like only like 12 right now, and it is blazing hot. Grady, are you sweating? I am sweating this hard thing a little bit. Yeah, same. Except like yesterday. Oh my god. This man was in Florida yesterday morning. Dude, I'm dripping. I'm literally about to drip. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro. I'm drinking my Mountain Dew now. <laughs> Mountain Dew's not sponsored. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Put this booger. Oh, there's something down there. Ooh, something chomping things. Oh yeah, something chomped it. Big boy nuts. So, whoa. Big boy nuts, get in there. Okay, buddy. Oh yes, the sun's going away for a tiny bit. I'm so happy. No! How dare it! Dude, it's already coming back. Yeah, fast. This worm is just too big for all. Woo! Look at these fish. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Nah. Here's spots. It's, looks like all the fish are going to Grady instead of me. So I gotta, I gotta switch up a little bit. I saw a few bluegill right here a minute ago. Oh yeah. They're looking at it. Oh yeah, guys, if you ever find yourself uh, enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button and punch that like button in the face. Oh, I might already have something, guys. Got him! Oh, shoot, he came off. Oh, it's a bass. I got a bass! I got a bass, guys! It's a little dink, though. Look at him! Oh my gosh, they, it just ended uh, spawning season for the bass. These, these guys are already chomping it. Ah, oh, yeah. Stop flopping, you weirdo. He's a smallie. Is he a smallie? Yeah. That doesn't look like a smallie. Oh my god, did he swallow it? No, he didn't swallow it. Okay, good. He's just a crazy boy. You want me to get it out with my small fingers? Yeah, probably. Like, it's in the same spot as the last one. But he didn't swallow it entirely. Oh my gosh, this is why we need circle hooks. Yeah, I should be able to get this one. Everyone, comment down below if you use circle hooks. These circle hooks are a lot better than bass hooks. This man got small fingers so he can do this. Got it. He's a legendary. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. All right, we should Stick, we, just. Just your camera, and we can do underwater release. Okay, guys. We're gonna, We're gonna release him. All right, let me see. Yep. Oh, no. There we go. He's a small little dink. Not what we're after today. Maybe some other day. All right, bud. Go home. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, 
wow, off really, on a great adventure. He really blinds it. Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, he's he's already going in the moss. Huh, so now All right, we're gonna rig up our bait hooks again. We're gonna keep on fishing. He's being a bad blue deal. Honestly. Oh guys, stay safe, make sure to wash your hands. Yes, everyone, stay safe, make sure to wash your hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sick of it. Oh my goodness. Well he swallowed it. Oh we got we got one. Going in the bucket. Alright guys. Dude, it is unbelievably hot. Oh my gosh, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but the bluegill are chomping it right now. And I almost got like a six pound bass. He's like swam near the edge. All right, all right, they're looking at it. They're looking at it. It's a whole bit. They're looking at it. Might have got something. Looking at it. Come on. Come on, thick boy. Just put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. See, that's the life of fishing. You just gotta argue with the fish to put it in their mouth. And then eventually they'll do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, right now would be such a good time for bass fishing. Oh yeah. We've been seeing so many uh, bass well, everywhere. We do a bass challenge. Yeah, we'll see. So you can catch the biggest one. Oh my gosh, that's a massive bluegill. Guys, we might have dinner right here. He chomped it. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh. All right. We got this big boy. Yeah, this will be one. All the big ones don't seem to be outside right now, sadly. Ugh. Dude, he really likes flicking at me. Stop flicking me off, little boy. Bad. He's being a bad bluegill. Honestly. Yes, everyone, stay safe. Make sure to wash your hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sick of it. Oh my goodness. Well, he swallowed it. Oh, we got, we got one going in the bucket. Well, yep, we're rigging up. We're at least going to try and get two because that one is not going to. It's gonna be like not even a snack, bro. Cause it's not the biggest one. He swallowed the hook too hard, so I would have released him if we could get it out. But yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, hold up. Something. Come on, man. Just put it in your mouth. Put it in the mouth. Put it in your mouth. Ah, uh, he gone, bro. He took it off. <laughs> He took the worm off. What a little bully. Can't believe him. I hate it. Hate it so much. That worm was gooey, bro. That was a good one. Yeah, to be honest, I feel like Grady used up all the worms, guys. Dang it, Grady! <laughs> Not again! You got one. You got one going in the bot. Well, looks to me like we're just gonna have to rely on Grady to give us a second one. Come on, Grady. Give us home, big daddy. Just a decent size one. You can one. catch a bass. Catch a bass, yeah. Depends. Oh my gosh. 
There's a lot more bass in the pond right now because they just started breeding. Like you could see like millions of little ones. Is that a massive bluegill? Massive bluegill, bro. Massive bluegill. Well. Bring him. Let me cast it. No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh. Just wait, just wait. He is chunky. Hopefully he didn't leave. He was a chunky boy. Dude, your line's super tangled, bro. Your line is like unbelievably tangled. Woo! All right, let the let them feed. Just let them feed. Yeah, I hear you, bro. I'm getting, I'm starting to get bit now. Me so hard. Ugh, okay, you guys. I just saw a massive bass down here. We're gonna try and get him. Oh shoot, it got tangled. Hey, yo, Grady. Oh, look at them. They're already going to it. A fat bluegill, fat chunky butt. Okay, I can't see it. I can't see it in the shade. Looks to me like we're going to cast. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Got him. In the bucket. Got him. Yep. Is there more? Oh yeah, there's a lot more. That bass was like a good 12 inches. Good foot. All right. You get the hook out. See if you can get the worm back. I'm going to check if I can find that bass again. Ant bites. Yeah, my dude stepped into an ant pile. And he got chomped. Oh, there's another bass. Dude, they're all having good. All oh, having a good time. A good time. Look at them. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's so many. Dinks! Oh my goodness! That'd be good, for, uh, good for our pond. Oh, there's, there's a big bass. Oh, there's a bigger bass. Oh my gosh! They're really dominating this area. They're everywhere. Where? Over here. Oh, I see him. You can see him. Look at them. Look at those little booty cheeks. Oh yeah, they're big. Okay, let's go. Oh, big boys. All right, well, we're gonna start packing up because we got two bluegill. Got little bubba's on the dinner plate tonight. <laughs> He's having bad luck with the ants. The ants real like him. Really like him. In. All right. Well, we'll see you guys at the house. All right, sup so guys? We're back at the house, and we are about to clean these fish. So we uh, scaled them already and uh, dispatched them. We have already cleaned half of the fish already because we've had to take a few takes. Eh, we're we're not too good at this. This is our first video, so. Shut up. <laughs> All right, um, so what we're gonna do is just gonna make a big deep cut right here, right down there. And then what you're gonna do after that, you're just gonna curve the blade right down. You're just gonna make a deep impaling cut. And then you're just gonna 
nor uh, like I usually press it down so the fish the body doesn't go everywhere. But then just gonna curve your blade down to try and get the most meat out. And there we go. All right, there we go. We got a lot of the meat. And then I normally just lift up the meat afterwards. Just follow it down the uh, pin bones. And then once you hit the rib cage, you'll just hear the clickety clack of the bones against the blade. You're just gonna curve up your knife so you don't puncture the guts and then everything just smells like crap. Um, so you're just gonna curve it up. Sorry about this. I'm not a professional at this. If you wanna, uh, if you're looking how to clean a bluegill, this is not the way. This is just how I do it. So I'm just gonna make a deep cut right there. And then normally I just like cut it off right there. And then, and we are good. That's a good, nice looking filet. All right, so we're gonna filet the last half of that fish and we'll see you in the kitchen. What's up guys, we're back in the kitchen, all right? So we're about to season up all this fish. So. Since there wasn't a lot of meat, sorry, you can't see my face. Um, since there was not a lot of meat on the uh, bluegill, we uh, got some frozen swordfish. I know, I know, it's totally clickbait. <laughs> totally clickbait. Not um, really, because the bluegill's right well, here. Buddy. Yeah, honestly. But so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. We just wanted some extra. Works. Okay, meat. Okay, so yeah, we just wanted some extra meat because this is just gonna be like a snack. Okay. I hope you guys understand, and you probably do. So we're just gonna season these bad boys up. So we're gonna start with the bluegill, all right? All right, so what I'm using today is a little something called Everglades Fish and Chicken. You can get it at your local uh, Publix or Kroger. All right, so we're just gonna season that bad boys up. Sorry, you guys can't see it very well. It's hard mounting on this place. Okay, so now that we season this bad boys up, now I just wanna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we left the skin on it. Sorry if you guys hate it with skin. Um, well, you could probably do a separate video on how to skin a bluegill if you want. Depends on how the comments work, but we can probably show you how to do that. It's difficult, I hate it, but, we but <laughs> we'll do it. It depends on you guys. So now that we have both sides seasoned, we're gonna do the swordfish. So we so we didn't defrost it in the water, so we had the microwave defrost it. Not very professional, but you're gonna season it just like a steak because since it's such a big piece of meat. So normally, what you want to do is put some pepper on it. This is this is just my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, and then I put a lot of salt because with big steaks like this, you need the salt to absorb down into the middle of the meat. And then we're just gonna put some Everglades fish and chicken on that too. And then I'll flip it over, same side. You can already tell that ha like bits of the sides are already cooked. Okay, same thing on the other side. All right, some salt. And some Everglades, yummy. All right, so now that we got our fish all seasoned up, we're gonna start the grill. And, well, not the grill, uh, stove. stove. And we're just gonna wait until it heats up. Okay, guys, we're back. Pan is ready to put some bluegill on, so. Pan is really hot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what you want. You want the oil to be hot enough that it just sizzles as soon as it gets on. Grady, I just realized you're like tattoo marker things on your arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, we're just going to wait until it gets all of them on. So, we're going to cook the bluegill separate from the, uh, what's it called, the swordfish steak because it takes a lot longer. It'll take a good three minutes to cook that baby. So, all right. Guys, All right, it's ready to flip. It's been about a minute. Not really. But... It's been like 10 seconds, bro. These things are so skinny. Okay, okay, okay. Not professional work here, guys. Just remember that. 
Oh my gosh. It's starting to curl. Grady's beautiful grilling skills. Okay, you know what? Ooh, picking it up with your hands. Yeah. Sounds hurts. about right. All right. All right, guys. The, uh, the bluegill are done. Why did you touch it? See, this man is crazy. That croissant. That croissant. Okay, so there's the little nuggets, and we're about to put on the swordfish steak. Ready? Oh yeah. That's like the best sound ever. All right. Perfect. Done. Gotta rip it apart just a little bit. No, it's not done yet. All right. Hey, yo, sorry about the stupid camera. Like, Grady filmed it wrong. Which one are you gonna try first? Let's do bluegill. Bluegill? Go right. Take this We're in our taste test. Which one is better? It's probably gonna be swordfish. Like, I really have no hope for the bluegill. Poor thing. It's probably an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? A little bit of salt. Let's see. That's, that's pretty good. Wow. Alright, let's do the swordfish. I'm gonna take a big bite of this sucker. Look at this dude. No manners. <laughs> Eats with his hands. What? What do you like? You could use a little bit every place, but out of that, it's a nine out of ten. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I've tried swordfish before. It's really good. Um, you I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna let him eat this. Because I just, uh, so when we bought the package, there was only two steaks in it. And while this man was at Florida, I decided that I would cook one. So I did. So this one's his. And I'm just gonna, that's really good. Bluegill. You might have, to be honest, really? Bluegill has more flavor by itself. Oh, yeah. But, um, if you add seasoning to swordfish, it still does have flavor by itself, but without, um, without any seasoning, I think bluegill tastes better. Yeah. Alright, well, guys, I'm, just be grateful for your life right now, everyone. There's people out there that are dying because of COVID. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just happy that I'm able to do this with my... Holy. Awesome, bro. <laughs> this this kid is amazing. All right, well, that's it for this video, and we gone.